Hi, and welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And as the title obviously told you, this is Photoshop Elements 13. And today we're going to be showing you the Content Aware Fill Tool. This tool is amazing. It's one of those million dollar tools that comes out of a $80 program. So we're going to go here right to our picture. And this is the first picture we're going to work on. I'm going to show you three different pictures uh, that this will work on. And the one I didn't test it, so we'll see how that goes. What we're going to do first here with this great picture I took of this fence line. I noticed a stone over here, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to remove that stone and just have that as grass? So we're going to duplicate our background layer just by doing Control or Command J. And um, for this, I'm going to use my my uh, rectangular marquee tool to make my selection. You can use any selection method you want with this tool. So I'm going to demonstrate it here with the with the marquee uh, rectangular marquee tool. So I'm just going to make a little square right around this stone, and we'll come right down here. What I did here, I kept the stone itself and the grass in the front, in the top, and the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate this tool. So we'll go up under Edit, the pull-down menu for Edit at the top of your screen, and go to Fill Selection. Once we have the Fill Selection, it's going to say Use Content Aware. The normal uh, blending mode will be Normal and 100% Opacity. Then we'll just simply click OK. And once we do that, you can see where it will actually take that and take that road out of there. Now, if there's a little bit of bleed over, you can see there's a little bit of bleed over here from the road itself. It pulled it over. We can simply revert this and have the stone back. And then we'll try the other tool. We'll try the lasso tool. And here we're going to try to go a little bit closer to the stone. Come across here down over here and back up, make the selection. And again, you're just going to go to Edit, Fill Selection, Content Aware once again, click on OK. And you can see where it did a much better job. If you hit the Control D now, we can see where it got cleaned up. Now, if you have some bleed over, you can see again a little bit of the road up there. You can just take something like your Clone Stamp tool, we can come over here, we can use our right bracket key, and we'll pick up some of this grass area right here. Use your Alt key to get the little, uh, the little pointer there. Click your mouse one time on the left mouse, come over and just click once, and you can see we filled that in very nicely. So you can use the two tools in combination. It's very easy to do. Let's go ahead and try this tool on another photo. Here's a picture I took locally at an Amish country. We're going to try this tool and see if it works. Now, like I said, I haven't tested this tool. And remember, there's so many tools in our at our disposal because we can use these different tools as we're doing our editing. So again, use your Command or Control-J, duplicate your background layer. Again, we're going to use the Marquee tool, and we're just going to outline these people here that got in our picture. I don't know these people. Uh, so they really, you know, don't mean anything to me. Uh, I'm sure they mean stuff to their own family, but not to me. So maybe I don't want them in my picture. And we're just going to see if the Content Aware tool will clean this up at all. So we have them all selected. Go to Edit, Fill Selection once again. And then go to Content Aware, click OK. And we'll see if it does clean them up there. And it did clean them up. But you can see there that it pulled a little bit of the buggy out of the picture, and it pulled that over there. So again, you would just hit your Command or Control D, and you can do some clone stamping in there. We can also do some healing brush, and you can go over that area. So we can just go right over this area here, kind of blend it in with that tree. You can see we can blend that in there. You can blend this in down here with the background. And this part over here, we'll just blend this in with the flowers. We'll see how that'll do. And there you go. So now you have it more blended. So again, we're just using a couple different tools to uh, take care of our edit. 
Another thing you could have did with this particular picture is maybe I would crop it out, but we're just talking about the content aware tool and content aware fill. On this last picture here that I have for you that I'm going to show you how to do this content aware fill. Um, I took this picture recently on our vacation. Naturally, it was in, uh, this was in Hawaii. And I noticed that there's a woman sitting here in this chair. I don't know this woman. I was taking a picture of the surfboards. And I like the scenery around here, but I don't really want the woman. And I probably don't want the, the person over here, the woman or guy that's over here. So I'm going to take those out of my scene. And we're going to do that very simply once again with the content aware fill. So I will simply go around uh, this. Well, here, let's do this first. Commander control J. Now we'll go ahead and make our selection around this uh, girl sitting here in this chair. And I'm just taking my mouse. I'm just outlining her with my uh, lasso tool. And then I'll do edit. Again, we're going to do fill selection because that is a selection. And we're content aware. Let that do its magic there. And it's judging the pixels around her to see what's there. You can see where it got rid of her, so that's good. Let's get rid of this person over here using the same tool, the lasso tool. We'll just go around the person here and down. And just like that, that should be a good selection. We're going to fill the selection, and we'll just fill that selection in. Commander control D, that brings it back. And there's our uh, scene now with really no major distractions. I mean, you got people down here. You can obviously get rid of those folks too just by doing the same thing. And edit and do the content, uh, the fill selection with the content aware. And you can go around just getting rid of each and every person in your scene that you don't want. So it's a very easy tool to use. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. It seems like a lot of you like the short ones. You know, get it done, get it quick, and just show you some highlights of it. And that is the new Photoshop Elements 13 Content Aware Fill Tool. Um, it works very, very well, as you've seen here in these pictures. And if you want to learn more, please go to my website, jtclearning.com, where you can sign up for my online photography course, my online Photoshop Elements editing course. Now, that is... At this time, Photoshop Elements 12, and most of the edits that I teach you in there are still, well, all the edits in there will still work with uh, 13. So it's still a, a very uh, valuable asset to your arsenal of, um, of photo editing. So thank you for, so much for joining me, and I will talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner. Take care, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now.